Good day. My name is Réjean Bourgou. Today we're going to talk about the next 50 years and technology megatrends. Normally this presentation lasts for 75 minutes. We're going to do it differently today. We're going to use microconference or 20 by 20. 20 slides, 20 seconds. 6 minutes, 40 seconds. You see an eye. I see a passport. A finger. Electronic wallet. A hands. A remote control for your TV. Ch open the TV. Close the TV, channel up, channel down. Call gesture based remote control, very popular in consumer electronics show. One of the major influencers is the cyber generation. Kids of 15 years old and less, they will have a major impact. Look at my kid, she already has four CPU on her coming back from school. A iPod, a mobile phone, a PC and a Nintendo. She's doing sharing application in the buses, instant messaging already inside of the bus. Virtual world, virtual reality, this is true. Kids at the age of six are now playing at Barbie.com versus playing with Barbie. Boys in 2010 will play with Lego Universe versus Lego. Daughter at six years old play with Super Barbie Chat, basically doing I am already at that age. Virtual reality is having an impact even on Barack Obama. During his campaign a year ago, he was using electronic arts rights in 18 games one month prior to the election. And you see a ad here in an electronic cards game of basketball. Two, boy, two boys playing basketball and you see a ad there. Let's look at v-commerce, virtual commerce. You're ready to pay five dollars for a real rose. People on hotornot.com are paying ten dollars for a virtual rose. On Facebook people are paying one box for every cup of soup they're sending to someone who's sick. This is v-commerce. Augmented reality, another big thing, basically adding a layer of information between your eyes and an object. Here you see a house, nothing. If you put an iPhone in front of it, or a Blackberry, basically you'll see much more information about this house. We'll access the internet, we'll give you the price of the house for sale, the number of bed, number of bathroom. In education, smart board are coming to play a lot. Also books will become multimedia book, electronic books but fully multimedia. You talk to your book. You basically say, kick the ball, send it to your book, and the book responds to you. You have YouTube type interface inside of the book with video clips for the kids. The work environment is changing. They are talking or asking for unified communication, presence, instant messaging replacing emails. They want to have access to their Facebook. There's already 350 million users on Facebook. This is the third largest community on the world after China and India. They're asking for mobility. The next big thing is the exponential revolution. Every 18 months, a PC of $1,000 double capacity or double power. In 45 years from now, a $1,000 PC will, have, will be 1 billion times faster, more performance. Think about the impact in research for this. We're talking about cloud computing. A laptop will be obsolete by 2020, it will be replaced by a communication access device and a cloud computing, all your application, software, and content will be in the cloud and you'll be able to access it through an um, access device. Let's look at other things. Geo-based location services. You'll be in a grocery store in the aisle. Let's say you're in the aisle of cookies and basically you'll see on smart card advertising about the Oreo cookies in this aisle. Lucas RFID will change. On every single product, you will have an RFID tag in the future. In the aisle, same thing, the Froster Flakes, the tiger will wave at you or will wink at you. This is already possible. In 2008, in Esquire magazine, had an LCD screen on the front page. And the second page, you had a YouTube video embedded inside of the electronic paper. Let's look at the entertainment. 3D television, 3D entertainment will go to holographic. You will, you'll be the controller. You no longer need things in your hands to control the games. And we're talking about interactive mind gear, controlling games with your mind in the future. Let's look at GPS. GPS will be integrated in every single thing. Cars in London by 2020 will all equip with GPS. The car will talk to each other if there's an accident, for example. GPS in shoes already, we see it for Alzheimer patient. You'll have GPS embedded inside of your blood, not inside of your body, I mean. 
Let's look at Bionic, for example. You will see Bionic game by 2030, 2040, replacing Paralympic games. You will see an LCD screen or contact lenses. Think about the impact with augmented reality if you have an LCD screen in your eyes. Basically, robotics will play a key role. In about 25 years from now, in South of Korea and Japan, we see 3.5 million of robots. The reason for that, the birth rate is 1.3, should be 2.1. So these robots will replace 20% of your task in the future. You'll see them in healthcare or in orchestra, for example. DNA research, the Genome Human Project, took 13 years, cost 3 billion to decode one DNA. Today, in 2013, we we'll see possibility for $1,000 for 15 minutes to get the full DNA sequence decoding. Think about the impact in healthcare. What you're going to see also is nanorobots, thanks to nanotechnology. These micro robots will be able to go inside of your blood and cure disease. Brain research will be amazing in the next 50 years. We don't understand how the brain works. This is very a capital research we're going to see in the future. Let's look at other things. Energy, we, electric car for sure. They will move to hydrogen car and eventually to water car. We have new technique of desalinization of ocean to get access to more water. And basically, the sun will play a key role in terms of energy. And finally, the environment, definitely green. You'll see green building. You'll see trees outside of the building, covering the building. And we're going to search more exoplanet. It took 1,000 years to understand the hurt. Now we're discovering a new planet every week. We believe there's one billion planet like us, like the herd. Are you ready for the future? That's the question I'm asking you. Thank you very much.